are special, we are awesome, we are family. We're full of love, we're full of life, we're a special, awesome family. We're a special, awesome family. It's our special, awesome family. Hi everybody, this is Trent, and um, sorry I haven't posted in such a long time, but I have been extremely tired and extremely busy. Um, a few nights ago, we had Night to Shine, and that was the freaking bomb. Um, I had a buddy um, named Miko, and he helped me. <clears throat> Excuse me, he helped me a lot. Um, also, I met this really cool guy named Craig. Um, he has uh, cerebral palsy pretty bad and um, seizures. And um, yeah, it was fun. Um, we rode a limo and that was fun. Um, and hopefully sometime this summer, um, maybe if it's okay with, um, Craig's mom, um, I'd like for Craig to come over and, uh, hang out with me. Um, Craig is adopted. He has, uh, um, his mom is a single mom. Her name is Carrie. She is awesome. Big shout out to her. Hey, Carrie. What's up? Um, hey, Craig. Um, also, I have been um, trying to trying to uh, get some stuff done for school. Um, I have. Uh, been working on uh, stuff for space camp. Oh, I'm so excited about space camp! Yes! Anyway, sorry. <laughs> I had a major spasm just then and also getting excited. E That kind of <laughs> takes a toll on me. Um, sometimes when I get excited, my muscles tighten up and tense up and then I go spastic. I hate that. But anyway, um, so yeah, but night to shine. Oh my gosh, folks. That was so cool. Um, we had a lot of dance music and, um, we also, um, were able to make requests from, uh, for the DJ and that was awesome. I requested um, the Casper slide, you know, cha-cha slide by Casper and the Platinum Band, I think is what it was called. Um, that was so much fun! Anyway, bleh, sorry. My muscles are tensing up again and it's hard to, hard to uh, stop gripping my phone. Anyway, um... But yeah, um, school has been crazy lately. Um, now, of course, living in New York, it's um, a lot different. But, you know, it's cool. Um, oh, excuse me. Um, anyway. <clears throat> uh... Finbar is getting ready to lay down, so I am almost with him. But um, anyway, just uh, chilling out really by the fire. We got a good fire going because it's cold here in New York. 
but yeah, um, <clears throat> excuse me, hopefully, like I said, I can, uh, have Craig over, um, he has, like I said, he has CP pretty bad, and he's nonverbal, but, oh, he is cool, uh, and his, uh, brother Jack, um, he's good friends with Tinsley, and, oh my gosh, Tinsley has grown, oh my word, he has, like, really grown, he is, I don't know how old he is now, but anyway, um, 19, I think now, wow, but anyway, what's cooking? <laughs> Hope all is well for all of you, and, um, what's up? Good morning, everybody. Sorry, I was supposed to record on Tuesday. I didn't. Um, I took a day off because I was still kind of eh. But it's Wednesday. Uh, the day we take Peter for his tune-up. Luckily, he doesn't need much of one. Just a little bit. Morning, honey. Morning, Petey. So there he is. On his bypass machine. Good job, good breathing, son. So this is his trilogy bypass machine. Been a leader. He uses this every night to help him breathe. <clears throat> and anytime he's in his wheelchair, he also uses. Um, a ventilator because of his breathing issues. He has to have it. So, yeah. Okay. Okay, now he's on his wheelchair ventilator. There's a difference in this one. Lower it sound, see? Good morning, Peter. We got the coffee going on behind me there. Hi. Right. So he has a really hard time getting up and going in the morning. Um, it's always difficult for him. He doesn't do well when he has to wake up and get started. So he has to have a lot of pressure going in. He has full pressure support right now. Because he's a little bit gunky right now. But once he's had his vest and his compasses, he won't be as gunky, but it's still best to have it on full, full support when he's having this kind of problem going on. Hey, bud. So I guess you could say this is a day in the life of Peter. Because today is the day we go take him to get his tune up at CF Clinic. Um, this is a new CF clinic for him, but luckily our team that we've been with for so long for him, they followed him. <laughs> Praise God. So, yeah. We gotta do, do nutrition first, and then, um, all that good stuff. Nutrition, and then, um, his infusion that he gets, and then also, um, his pulmonary specialist and all that good stuff. His tough test and see how good his lung function is, right, Peter? Huh? Yeah, you can say hi to the peeps. Say hi. Hi. Good job. Okay, let's get this day started, guys. Ready to go get CF done stuff done, baby? YouTube. Now. Yeah, all sort of. Vlogs. Family fun tool party yeah. with amazing all friends. Two, Swimming at the farm. Okay, so I got him dressed and I got his stomach site clean for his YouTube. And I just gave him his morning medication, which he gets right here. There's his YouTube right there. And now we get, I gave him his enzymes and his. Stuff like that. So now we gotta do percussion 
and he's still pretty gunky, so I'm gonna do percussion as well as the vest, so let's do it. Okay, bud. <coughs> Good boy. Good job. Doing the percussive. Peter needs a lot of care, you guys. Like, he, he needs a lot of care. So we have to give him a lot, don't we, Bubba's? Yeah. Okay, guys, we are off to CF Clinic for a PD and me. All the kids are staying <clears throat> with Nana, and they're gonna stay with Nana, and Lonzy was able to take the day off. And he's got the battery um, percolator going on in the background, the, the battery top coffee pot. Because we had to have more coffee to take with us, so he's got that going here. And we're gonna head over to the clinic and do his visit. Right, Pete? Um, I always bring along things in case you have to stay overnight with Peter because you never know because he could have a seizure, he could have, you know, any kind of something. So, um, we always bring stuff. I believe he has to have his tune up tonight, which means he may be staying overnight this time. But that's okay. Right, Pete? Yeah. I brought along, I brought along his favorite snacks he likes. And um, all that good stuff. Did my workout this morning. It was really good. Feeling the burn, baby. Feeling the burn. Third day on it. Loving every second of it. It's difficult. To say the least, it's difficult. But it's okay. It's okay. I'll. You know what? I'm getting used to it. It's going to be okay. So, heading over to the hospital to do the CF stuff that we got to do for Peter. Cause they'll see you all day, right, Peter? Yeah, he's like, oh no, mom, please shut up. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry, love. He's just not feeling very happy, and he's tired, and he never sleeps well. Like he never sleeps well the night before we go to see a clinic, right? Couldn't go yesterday because he was having seizures a lot yesterday, so we decided to wait till the day to go. So, here we go. Hey guys, we're here. We just got through with nutrition. And Peter was a bit hungry. He does have a G2, but he can eat um, if he feels up to it. So, I'm going to get him. We're in the cafeteria for a minute. So, it's a while before we go to do his infusion. So, um, he's cranky, frustrated, upset. Um, tired and everything you can think of. He's not happy. He does not want to be here. But he knows and we know he needs to. So that's why we're here, right, Pete? Yes? I know. I know. I know. You don't like it. I understand that. I know you don't like it. I'm sorry. So the good thing about nutrition is that his weight is good. The G2 placement was good and his weight is good. So that's relief. It is up from the last time we saw him. It is up. So we were at 94 pounds. Now he's up to 115. So that's good for him. Coffee's good. So because he does use it thing overnight, I did bring my cat, my carrying machine. So we have coffee. <laughs> Snacks and stuff like that. Peter's feed and feed bags. Meds. His vent. He's just not really happy. He's tired and didn't sleep well last night. He doesn't sleep well the night before. One of these things. He just doesn't do well. So, yeah. Oh. He perked up a little bit. His friend Jody's here to have his tune-up done. Huh? Ah, is your friend Jody here, Peter? Uh, so we're just waiting to get his infusion and all that done. He hates the infusions. They drop him nuts. Hey, Peter. Peter. Hey. Life with a needle in your chest. 
<laughs> He's like, oh, shut up, Mom, stop. <laughs> it's this port right there. And then the needles right here. The new infusions. So. <clears throat> yeah, here we are. Waiting for that. Ah, so yeah. Um, he does have a lot of stuff in his lungs, which they're concerned about. His lung function is down a bit on the last half test he had, but not much. Um, it came up, actually, no, I'm wrong. It came up some from the last test he had, because the last one, he was down quite a bit, like significantly. But this one, he's up some. Hi, Pete. Yeah. So, um, my guess is they may keep him overnight just to check him. Just to do his enzymes and tune-ups and things. I don't know. They, they won't. They haven't said yet, so. Oh, goodness. I'm tired, you guys. He's having a snacky, huh? And this is my lunch. It's um, basically fueling. It's like pepperoni with some cheese. And then I have some rice crackers. That's what I'm having for lunch. So I haven't talked about this in my health journey, but I'm trying to do like smaller, um, like just snacks during the day, like healthy ideas. And then at night I eat a big meal. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I know, I know you're mad. I know you're tired and angry. I get it, believe me, I do, honey, I do. He's just tired and really upset and frustrated. <sighs> okay guys, it had our infusion, he is out. We're in our room. We are staying tonight because he's really, like, they just want to make sure he's tuned in real good and dialed in, everything's dialed in. So, thank God I did bring stuff because we're not, like, right at the house. Like, we're about 20 minutes away, so. Ah, uh, life, you guys, life. So, that's going on. Um, nutritionist, done. CF team check, done. Um, but they were concerned because of his breathing. He's having a hard, hard, you know, hard time breathing. So they wanted to just keep just to make sure. We may not have to stay overnight, we'll have to see. But they're just saying it may be an overnight stay. Luckily, they give meals to parents. <laughs> so that's kind of like still my meal plan. But um, what I do is like I do a small breakfast meal, a small lunch meal, then a snack in the afternoon. So my blood sugar stays where it should because I have low blood sugar. And then at night, I do a big meal and I do my main big course. So that's what I do. I'm tired, you guys. I'm just gonna tell you what out of tired. Um, Lonzie is over on the bed napping with Peter. Um, we just I just took Peter's puppy out for a walkie. Um, he has a service dog that he has with him right here. This is Ace. <coughs> Ace is a poodle, standard poodle. It's what works best for Peter, so that's good for us. He is almost two, and he's been Peter's friend for a long time. Hi, Peter. You feeling any better, honey? They did a lot of chest PT and uh, a lot of air clearancing, suctioning, and that seems to have helped. He's doing a lot better. Hi. Hi, bud. You feeling better, huh? We had to have a humidifier in here because, uh, um, 
she needs a lot of like moisture. Come on, like stick a cup of coffee now. Hey buddy, you feeling any better? Sorta of, kinda. And also because he gets fungal infections so easily, they put us in like a, a air locked room, but it's not locked, it's just um it's safer for him. Cause there are there are other CS patients on the floor who do have infections. And because he gets them, uh, it's just better to have this. We have the bed over here, which loves you just laying. No. Oh. Ace, are you laying on the bed, Ace? Huh? Loves you over here. Rich is over here. And then Dee Dee's over there. And then I'm right here. And then our bed is right over there in the window. <clears throat> we have a uh, bathroom on suite. And we have a little kitchenette that I can uh, keep things cold in and cook uh, little small things. Nice, huh? Um, he is not allowed to be out of his room, but we can. We just have to be careful when we do to make sure he doesn't get any infections. Because he does have a slight infection, which we didn't know about. <clears throat> and because he does have a, like a fungal infection, we have to be really careful around any of his dressings. So that's why they wanted to keep overnight was because of the fungal infections that he has. So got an antibiotics running over here. Then we have his enzymes. right there and his feed over here so he's pretty wiped out we're all pretty wiped out it's been a long day um, for us because Peter has a lot of you know medical needs he has a lot of doctors he sees in one area <coughs> it's a lot it's a lot and I have a doctor appointment tomorrow, so I hope they'll let him out tomorrow because I have a doctor appointment myself for this drastic cold I got still. Hey, bud. Hi. Hi. It's okay, honey. Hey, guys. So I'm outside for a minute. Walking. Ace here. Ace, come on. <clears throat> so, Peter's inside sleeping. FaceTime. Double tap to open. I did not call your name, stupid. Sorry. Peter's inside resting. He's doing really well. They said if he still continues to improve, we could go home tonight, but I don't see it. If, if the worst comes to worst, we'll be at home in the morning, so. I went ahead and told, um, my, um, the family that we have the kids with, my mother-in-law, my mom, dad, and my sister-in-law to just keep the kids tonight. Oh, sorry, none of said Nana's got the kids, so Nana's gonna stay home at our house with the kids so they can have their place that they usually sleep in. So, uh, <clears throat> Luckily, we have that under control. It is really, really snowy here. Um, Dee's inside with Peter. She just thought she would stay with him. So three of us could go for a walkie with the little Ace here. All right, this is a beautiful place out here. Playground over here to the right. And there's a walking path for dogs, service dogs. There's that. Oh, there's a flying saucer thing over there. <laughs> cool. Peter's favorite swings. 
been windy out here. Peter's sound asleep. We're gonna go get cut dinner in a minute. Peter's sound asleep. Um, he's exhausted. He's really tired. His aide is with him so that we could all come outside for a walk. Cause all of us was getting like, uh, just like cabin fever for a bit. So we told him we're gonna go out for a walk for a little while. It's okay, you know. Matthew's here with you for a while, so we can go for a walk. And he was fine with that. He, you know, totally understands. It's okay, Mom. Go ahead. So that's what we're doing. And then we're gonna go grab dinner in the cafeteria, and then go back and be with our little man to uh, spend time with him and help him through whatever he has to go through. There's the Ronald McDonald house right there. You can stay there if you need to. We have, and there's the cafeteria right over here, one of them. That's the parents' cafeteria right there, if you stay in the McDonald house. And then over here is the other part of the hospital. This place is humongous, by the way, it's big. So, uh, um, we did not know that P Peter had cystic fibrosis. We were never told anything. What we were told was that he was not well, that he had lung problems, and that he had a D2. Um, we were never told any of his issues that he has. Never told any of it. Okay, we're back. We're gonna go grab dinner here in a minute, but... Someone brought Peter a gift of some toys. Peter, what do you think? You like him? He got a super ball. He got some spinners. He got some blocks. He got some puppy. Uh, toy little puppies. And a kitty. <coughs> a couple of his favorite action figures. Yeah. Pretty cool, huh, buddy? I'm outside and Ace is barking. Ace, what are you barking at? Get back here. What are you barking at, boy? Come on. Ace, let's go. Okay, guys, we just got back from the cafeteria. Had a good meal. Uh, we had some fried chicken and mashed potatoes, green beans, spinach, and a little bit of bread. Yeah, pretty, doing pretty good. So we had a good dinner. Um, what we did was we just cut up the chicken in little pieces and ate it like that. That's fat that way. So we had that. Um, Peter is, he ate his dinner. Now he's having his meds and all that and his best in meds and he's getting ready for sleep. This is not easy, guys. This life is not easy when you don't know what's next for your child and you don't know um, what they're gonna do. You know, it's hard, it really is. Hey guys, um, so we're back in the room. There's Peter right over there. He is sound asleep. Why don't you stay next to him? The um, nurse is checking all over him. I'm sweating. I just got a seriously bad coughing fit. <clears throat> I just did his vest and missed, and he's doing good. He has oxygen right there, and his ventilator right here. <clears throat> oh my god. Anyway, so here we are. 
right here. He's sound asleep. Doing good. <sighs> Numbers are coming up, looking very good. Very, very good. <clears throat> They're gonna do um, PT tomorrow again, the uh, chest PT. And then we're like, gonna go home. So, this is what it's like when you have a child with CF. And a coughing mommy that coughs and coughs and coughs and coughs and coughs. Like I'm doing right now. Excuse me. Messenger, now. Night manager. So, this is what it's like when we have it all night with Peter. Um, all the other kids are doing good. But Daniel was very upset and. <clears throat> Him and Kyle were very upset because they missed mom and dad. So Nana brought them down to be with us and Elon. <clears throat> so they're right over there. And sleeping better now. I'm exhausted, but they're doing good. So yeah, this is where it's like a typical CF day for Peter. Check it that view line. Check it is YouTube site. Make sure everything's okay. <clears throat> Luckily, because he has a ported cast, which he got a while back, a nice one. Um, we don't have to use um, cameras anymore. He has a port, so it's so much easier on us than to have to cut. You know, to put you know a camera on his arm or anything like that. Because his fangs are so scorched from having that done. Ow! Cut! Sorry. That it's better to have a port for him. So it's better for him and for Elon. No, no. Um, Peter was trying to get his me out. Stop! Sorry. Anyway. Um, so this was it's like when you have a child with CF and. You know, doing a CF clinic day that ends up turning into a hospital night. Anyway, guys, yeah, that's what it was like. Well, I'm gonna tell you, I'm having a really hard time sleeping because all the noise is going on, but. <clears throat> Peter is sleeping soundly. Lonzi is sound asleep. Rich is sound asleep. Mommy is awake. So, yeah. Anyway, really isn't much I can say now because we're all trying to get some rest. But I'm going to say good night to all of you. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow and let you know more of what they're going to do to Petey. And I'll, we will know more. Or if I can't sleep later, I'll probably come on. So I'm still not able to sleep. So I'm checking on Peter. His sides are good. He did have a seizure. Um, which we knew probably could have because of infusions can cause fevers, which also cause seizures for Peter. But he is okay. Praise God, he is okay. So I'm just trying to. I've been laying here catching up on editing and YouTube, bitch, and uh, binge watching um, one of my favorite shows. Uh, it's a little life stuff sometimes, and a little bit of. Uh, one life to live the classic episodes like I don't really live in those and uh just waiting to see what's gonna happen so anyway here's my bed for the night right over here there it is messenger messenger now night anyway I hope you guys are having a good night and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow and you let you know what they say about Petey love you guys and thank you for watching sorry it's a medical one today Love you guys. Night.